Yukumi are here to talk about the Sea of Thieves stream that was shown earlier today, where they covered how player progression will work in the game. This was a much needed look into progression after a lot of users on the forum and Reddit were starting to get worried that the game would be a mile wide, but only an inch deep. There's a lot to cover today, so how about we just dive straight in? Let's start off with the new items and tools shown off in today's stream. Rare showed off the Spyglass for the first time, which will allow players to spot other players from further away. There is also new cargo such as gunpowder kegs, animal cages, ancient goblets, and skulls of former pirates to collect. There is also a brand new weapon, which is some kind of scoped rifle. There wasn't much gameplay shown of this new weapon, so I'm not entirely sure how powerful this weapon will be yet. Personally, I'm hoping for some bullet drop over distance to add some skill to the weapon, rather than making it really easy to just snipe enemies from a safe distance away. So now that we've covered the new stuff spotted during the stream, how about we talk about the progression? Progression in Sea of Thieves is largely tied to three trading companies. The Gold Hoarders, where players will be sent off searching for buried treasure. The Merchant Alliance, which will task players with collecting and delivering goods across the sea. And finally, the Order of Souls, in which players will find skeletons for their skulls. Doing voyages will result in earning reputation for the respective trading company. Once you reach a promotional milestone, as shown here, you'll gain access to harder but more rewarding voyages. As you can also see here, you'll be able to buy trading company themed cosmetics, which will be locked behind rank progression. The great thing about Sea of Thieves is that there is no barrier to entry. A pirate on their first day is just as equipped to do a rank 30 voyage as a pirate celebrating their 8,000th voyage. This is extremely noticeable when part of a crew, where you'll have players with varying amount of experience all offering up voyages they've picked up and then other crew members voting on which is the one they will tackle. Players who have played a lot and leveled up the Order of Souls might offer an extremely profitable voyage which everyone will vote for, and everyone involved will be granted the same amount of reputation and gold at the end. Of course, doing voyages isn't the only way to gain favour with the trading companies. If you come across some loot in an old forgotten cave or an unfortunate shipwreck, you can turn these in for reputation. So what exactly will you be doing on these voyages? Well, for the Gold Hoarders, you will be given maps and riddles. You will have to go out and find the island and dig up the buried treasure. Classic Pirate. Next up are the Merchant Alliance, where you will have to collect a list of varied cargo, such as different types of wildlife, like chickens, snakes and pigs, or a cart around gunpowder kegs. All of this within a time limit. And since there are different breeds of animals, it might take you a little bit of work in sailing in order to find a specific type of pig that the voyage calls for. Lastly, Voyages for the Order of Souls will have you hunt down a bounty on a certain captain or crew, and you'll have to deliver their skulls back to the Order to cash in your bounty. This trading company is purely combat based, so make sure your cutlass is sharpened and you know how to aim your blunderbuss in order to complete them. Rare also confirmed that there will be timed events, which players can take part in to earn themselves unique rewards, though what these events will entail has yet to be revealed. Finally, the last major reveal actually came during the Q&A segment when a user asked about microtransactions, and while they didn't go into full detail about how microtransactions will work, they did have this to say. Um, but we know that some people have real concerns around, you know, will anything we do in this kind of area have impact on, on progression, yep. right? Um, <coughs> and, and our answer to that is no. <laughs> so anything we're going to do is not going to have impact on progression. If you want to progress in Sea of Thieves, you play the game, right? That, that's, that's kind of um, all we kind of want to sound at at the moment, right? But and that's my recap of the stream. If you want to watch the full stream, I'll have a version uploaded on my channel and in the description. So check that out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe as it will help me out immensely. See you next time.